Quite often with our ball drop, we have the ball in our middle, so we're ready to drop, kick the ball straight. We just drop the ball straight in front of us. Now our foot's actually out here, so with our ball drop, we need to get a little bit of momentum in our hand, so actually push the ball out. As you can see there, I can actually load up stupid plane going overhead. I can actually load up my hand and feel the weight of the ball sitting there. So from our midline we push it out and we can drop the ball as you can see directly over my right foot which is where my foot's going to come through nice and strong. So my hands are on the ball, push out. What do you do with your hand placement? I like quite a fat, uh, fat grip on the ball and nice and just upright. If anything, it's just leaning forward a touch. But fat on the ball, I need to be able to load up and feel, feel the weight of the ball. My pinky can take a little bit of weight at the bottom of the ball, but I don't want to be under the ball. If we're under the ball, we usually chuck it up, bad things happen. So pinky, nice and fat on the ball, I'm going to load it up. So before I do each kick, I actually do a little load up drill just with my hands to feel that ball load up. And as you can see, I can get a really nice ball drop. So for a start, how the drill is going to work is we're just going to be on that plant foot. You're just going to do a set of five without kicking the ball. So literally, it's just get extension through that back. And as you can see, I'm pushing the ball out, giving me space. And that's where my foot's going to come through. Boom, let's do that again. So my ball's nice and set. I'm loading up my right hand. Boom, load it up, and as you can see, I get a really good ball drop. Now, if we drop too, too far in, the, in our midline, so if we do drop it here, when my foot comes through, instead of being planted, flexed, and strong out there, I bend my knee, and then my foot does weird things, and that's where you quite often get that, that weird, not very powerful ball hooks away. So we, we get our ball set, we push it out, and we're going to be nice and strong out there, because that's where our foot's coming through nice and strong. So just with your kicking, all we're going to do is a set of five, so standing on one foot, nice and balanced, I'm going to push that ball out nice and strong, push it out, boom, and we strike the ball. With the first set, I want to see how much punch we can get, so I really want you to think about punching the ball low, just like a golfer with a big tee off, the ball starts low and then takes off. If we can learn that style of kick, then kicking for height, distance all becomes really easy. So plant foot set, think about pushing that ball out, boom, push it out drive that ball, get a little bit of height there, but you can see what I mean. So that's what I want to progress with. Just for this next 30 days, do your warm up drills, then get through a set to each other, getting a nice strike. 